Okay, here's how we get this onto our anchorage. We need a proper carabiner. And people say, where the heck did that name come from? Uh, the name actually comes from the French carbine for the rifle, the old carbine rifles. This style of device that we call a carabiner uh, was originally invented for putting on and off quickly rifle slings. And in France, they were called carabines, the rifles were, and this, these were the carabiners. Now, just like on that safety bucket, uh, dual action, auto lock snap ring, these carabiners have to have the same function. They also are dual action auto locked. That thing is locked. In order to open this, I have to, and they, all, they all act differently, different companies. This one pushes down and then twists and then it opens up. And you can learn how to do that with one hand. If I pull down and pull back like that, it'll open up. Down back like that, it'll open up. But once it's there, it locks. This one works just the opposite. This one has to go up and twist and over. So I go up, twist, over, up, twist, over. It's nice if all the carabiners you have on you, and it's nice to have plenty of carabiners. It's nice if they're all the same so you don't get confused. You'll learn how to do this one-handed. And once you do, if you shift over to this one, you're pulling up and it's like, what the heck is going on? Oh, I gotta push down and twist it over. So choose a style, stick with it, but here's the key. This is called the long axis of the carabiner right here. This is how you want to load this thing. You do not want this thing to be torqued. You do not want to load, the, this is called the gate. You do not want to load the gate and you don't want to torque it, twist it. You want it to be loaded on the long axis. These are to be rated for 5,000 pound minimum braking strength. These are nice, good quality, rescue style, climbing style, lifeline safety carabiners. They're going to be more expensive than the little key ring carabiners you get in the store, but these things auto lock with dual action and 5,000 pound minimum braking strength along the long axis. This is also referred to as the spine of the carabiner. So, how does this get used? Easy. We do this, we put this into our bite, on our figure eight on a bite. Now, we have something very similar to what we had before with our safety bucket device. This can go right to an anchor point. However, remember that with our safety bucket device, we had our fall arrest right here built into the end of the lifeline. There's another way we can deal with that. I'll be right back in a second and show you that. Okay, here is now how we are going to put our shock pack and our rope grab on. This is a shock pack that attaches to us on our D-ring in the back rather than to the anchor point. Still going to do the same function, but now I'm taking the shock pack with me. This rope grab can come on and off. The way that this rope grab goes on is first I have to take off the rope grab device from its carabiner on the shock pack and there is a lever right here like this that goes in and it's labeled up. Up means towards the anchor point. So I'm going to lay this now, lay my standing end of my rope in there, let that go so that it shows going up. And this guy, as long as I'm nice, unlike the other one that I have to squeeze, this guy will go up and down all by itself. That's another thing I like about this. All I have to do is pull on the rope. I don't have to squeeze anything. This rope grab goes up and down, but here's what happens. If I try to go down quickly, it, it locks. Now I can't go down. It's holding, that will deploy the shock pack, and it will roll out its 42 inches and away I go. In order to loosen this up, I have to come back up, slowly go down, slowly up and down, and if I try to go fast, it grabs again and holds. I cannot push that down until I come back up and away I go. So this moves very smoothly and slowly as up and down uh, rather than grabbing and I have to squeeze the thing to move the rope. And the rope is much smoother and kinder on yourself than that nasty old polyolefin rope. So now that I've got this done, 
I take the carabiner on the end of my shock pack, stick it back through that hole right there, and hook this up on my dorsal D-ring, maybe, hook this up on my dorsal D-ring, and I'm ready to go. So this is an alternative to the safety bucket kit that we showed you earlier. Much higher quality, good for at least a couple of years of repetitive use, um, and I like it myself. Now though we have to talk about a few more alternatives to Anchorage. What if I don't have the ability to put those little brackets into the roof? What if I don't have an engineered anchor? I then need to find what's called a structural anchor. Now there's not too many structural anchors on a residential house, so I might have to find something on the other side of the house. Here's what we're going to do. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to show you how we get set up to create an alternative structural anchor. Be back in a